So we're going to talk about hydroelectric or water power. So hydroelectric power is built in uh, rivers and basically a wall is put across a river. Again, the old joke, remember, what did the fish say when he swam into a wall? Dam. So a dam is a wall across a river and it creates a reservoir, which is a lake behind the dam. And then the water falls from a higher level to a lower level. So the water flows down. And as it flows down, that movement, that creates movement, that moving water, that flowing water moves a magnet and a coil of wires to generate electricity. So that's how it works. So if you think about how it works, and even pause the video for a second, you can envision ways that it will, um, advantages and disadvantages. Big advantages, it's renewable. It's renewed by the water cycle. We're not burning anything. So there's no air pollutants. There's no um, carbon dioxide from it. So there's several advantages from that. Um, what are my disadvantages? So I'll actually go to my next slide here. So again, if you stop, you can think about renewable, no burning. Um, these reservoirs are these lakes that are recreational opportunities, people like that. And it can control flooding downstream. Um, so you're not going to flood out um, typically um, communities downstream again because you can control the water level and reduces that downstream flooding. However, there are disadvantages. So when they create this reservoir, you're gonna flood wetlands on the edge area. Um, and so that is a, a disadvantage. Sediments can fill up the reservoir, so they're gonna have to dredge it out a lot of the time. The sediments, the bottom of a um, reservoir can become anaerobic. Anaerobic respiration releases methane, which is again a greenhouse gas. Um, so that can become an issue with that. And again, they have to dredge out those sediments. Um, probably the biggest disadvantage is it blocks this salmon migration or this anadromous fish. Um, the fish that, again, born in freshwater, go out to the ocean, then spend their life, and then they go back up to the freshwater. It blocks, blocks their migration. They're an important part of the ecosystem. They're a great food source for people and animals. And so blocking that migration is a big issue. Um, loss of land or homes when the reservoir is created. Again, you're flooding out coastal areas upstream. Um, over a million people were displaced from their homes when the Three Gorges River Dam was created and dams can collapse. So again, the dam can collapse. Um, and there are some instances on the news of that. Um, Three Gorges River Dam actually is the largest dam. It's now operational, but it's the largest actually um, electricity generating plant in the world, and it is in China. Um, and again, it uh, produces a heck of a lot of electricity, but it also flooded out over a million homes. Um, so, and that's kind of where um, you can see in the area that was flooded out from the Three Gorges River Dam. So that is um, hydroelectric power. And again, this is in rivers. The next one, you kind of saw the slide, but the next one is going to be tidal power. And that's going to be like in oceans using high and low tide. But uh, hydroelectric is in dams, uh, or dams, I'm sorry, in rivers.